Hi, it's Tommy Jo from Bird Street Studios. I thought I would hop on real quick and do a flip through of the journal I just completed. It's a William Morris themed designed papers. Uh, there's some other papers added in there and some homemade type things. Uh, papers and that that I made myself or collage myself. Anyways, it's the cover itself um, is made out of uh, layers of napkins and collage papers, mod podged and left to dry for a couple days. And then I did sew all the way around it. Um, and then the spine, it's so it's, um, right now it's, it feels kind of, you know, hard, but it's pliable. But once you use it, it'll soften right up, I, I'm sure. Uh, I did cover the spine with some lace, some vintage lace, and then some cotton crocheted uh, edging right here. And it says, it's better to take a risk than miss a moment of magic. I've got just one eyelet here for the sari ribbon that um, can wrap like twice around and tie. Um, and let me show you the inside of the cover because it's just collage papers. Oh, it feels so good. Anyways, uh, this book, uh, this journal measures eight and five eighths long by six and an eighth wide. It makes, it's two signatures, a total of 92 pages. Um, and so I'm just going to kind of do a quick flip through and talk through it and let you know what we did and what you will receive. This will go up in my Etsy shop uh, probably later tonight. <clears throat> Anyways, some of these pages I actually came on and um, did videos on how I did them or the ideas for them or the inspiration for them. So um, they are in previous videos like this one in particular. It's just a coffee dyed paper with strips of paper collaged on so that you can still journal in between. And it is stitched all the way around. And this is a corner flip with a little matchbook pad in here. Excuse me, I got something caught in my throat. Um, in my journals, I do leave a lot of space for journaling blank pages and that. So here's a little pocket with a journaling card. And this is a collaged sheet, but kind of reverse. So I collage blank space for journaling. Okay. Um, and this is um, collaged around the outside page. This is actually I used food coloring, gel food coloring to dye these papers, the blue. It's kind of a bluish green. And here's a pocket here um, with plenty of space to add stuff, but I did put a journal card in there. But there's space to add more for, for you to add your, yourself. And here's just a tag. And this opens up for journaling. Just like a little faux envelope. Just decorated just to break up the page. Here's a corner flip as well with a journaling card. And this is uh, just a journaling page. But this is made out of homemade washi or faux washi tape. Um, I think uh, Rachel at Roxy Creations uh, showed how to do that and I followed suit and made some for myself and this is a belly band going this way with a journaling tag and a piece of ephemera sheets of paper so you could make notes or whatever and tuck them in wherever you'd like journaling spot and here's a tuck with just a tag for journaling and this is just craft paper that I made that ruffle and sewed it on there and then this is actually a side pocket 
Never lose your sense of wonder. And this is some vellum sheets for journaling here. Just layers of vellum. And this is a pocket as well with a card. And again, plenty of space to add whatever you'd like in there. And this is an index card decorated for journaling. This is a paper clip, an altered paper clip, so that you can journal on the page, but you can also tuck papers up inside that paper clip. Coffee dye paper. And this is just uh, for journaling. And I try to design the papers or break them up somehow. This is plenty of journaling space on here. It's not too busy. And this is the other half of that collage paper we saw in the beginning. And here's got, I've got some just some cotton crocheted lace on there. Here's a pocket with uh, journaling space. This opens up right here. And again, you can journal here as well. And this was made out of a window envelope, so you can see the paper through the background of it. And then this is just a journaling space. And then that's the end of the first signature. And the second signature is very similar. <clears throat> Usually I just decorate them a little bit different, so, you know, the pockets are just decorated a little differently, but basically you're going to see the same type of things, a pocket with a tuck. Here's a horizontal belly band with some journaling space. Here's your a pocket tuck with a card. And again, a tag with a faux envelope. Lots of journaling space. There's another little flip up with a journaling tag. This has a note card here for journaling, just paper clipped in. And here again is your little pad and a tag. And here's a tag that just tucks in this ruffle here. And it does have its own card here, Be Gentle, You Are Enough. And there's your vellum. And then another card top here. And again, plenty of space in here for you to add your own uh, mementos or whatever. And then this here is a card and it's decorated with that washi tape. I did a video on that, how to make washi tape out of the, uh, or faux washi tape out of the printables. And this is a bag that I created uh, and printed. I printed it out, then I created the bag and then there's a journaling paper in there. Here's the altered paper clip for this here. Beautiful papers and lots of journaling space in here. Here's that collage sheet, so you got journaling space here. Some more faux washi. There's a pocket with some paper for journaling. And here's a side pocket made out of an envelope, the back of an envelope, and just a journaling space. And this is all sewn around as well. And then here's a back pocket with a piece of paper for journaling. Oops. And then, like I said, this just wraps, the sari ribbon just wraps around. And then it ties right here. 
it's what I like about this journal is it feels real comfortable in my hand when I hold it uh, to like carry it from table to desk or whatever. It's a real comfortable little journal. So anyways, like I said, this will go up in my Etsy shop later tonight. And uh, I hope you grab it if you like it. Thanks and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.